Where are you going? <laughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, I suppose I must have. I'm here. <sighs> Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, well, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angoboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answer soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answer soon enough, Loki. Uh, right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Oh. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But 
This part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. I wonder who he is. Wait. No. No. It's not right. That can't be what happens. No. No, no. No. This isn't real. Ironwood's not real. The Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, you're okay. It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future! It says I serve Odin and my father dies! There's just no way! Look, this is the only way things turn out! The sooner you accept that, the better! Oh, shit. I was mean too. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. This way. We're coming up on the Valley of the Fallen. What happened to them? They were tired of living in fear of Asgard. So they hid. Left a pile of corpses to confuse Odin, should he ever find a way into Jotunheim. Where'd they hide? We'll see. <laughs> I got it. Marbles. Wait, you've seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgar. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's. There are more out there. What are they? Just look. Yahtzee. Brother? Hey, careful. Aura. Giants. These belong to the giants? These are the giants.
They had a choice. They could stay in Jotunheim, waiting for Odin to find a way in to slaughter them. Or they could hide. My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. It's within these. How they are your responsibility. Are you sure? Well, that's what my mother saw. We're supposed to know what to do with them when the time comes. And when's that? I don't know. Head back. This is a lot of responsibility. It is. And it's all yours. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm done. I guess. Now that I've given you those, my part in all this is over. Y you could always come with me. We could fight Odin together. If I was supposed to fight alongside you, I wouldn't disappear from your damn mural halfway through. I understand. Well... We shouldn't break up the set. Don't you think? Let's keep walking. Huh. Tallest peak in the realms. The only other time I was in Jotunheim, I was there with my father. You know the giant's fingers? I spread my mom's ashes there. Feels like ages ago. Hey, just because of some dumb mural, your story doesn't have to be over. I know. I mean, I have plans. It's just... It's over as far as the giants are concerned. So what's that make me? A friend? Come on, girl. You can make it. What's up here? A shortcut. <clears throat> Good girl. You can do it, Yala. I believe in you. Let's give Yala a break. <sighs> I'm at what I said before. You know? About your paintings. They're really good. Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah. Is it working? Ask me again and... Oh, damn time. What the... Shut up. Too late to whine now. Now. Damn it. Who was that? Kryla. She... <laughs> What's wrong with it? I can't feel anything. There's nothing to feel. Carla whispered its soul away. You know where she lives? What are you gonna do? I've buried enough wolves this winter. Follow me. So, 
Gryla, what does she need animal souls for anyway? She can live moments in their lives. Finally feel free. The wind in their fur as they run. Her only worries being what to hunt and where to sleep. But it's not real. Uh, uh, <sighs> Ryla's still out. Wow, the things are so big. Where's the wolf? There's a door to the cellar over here. She might keep the animals down there. <sighs> feel anything just like the other one she took its soul there's not much more we can do hold this what are you you didn't have a least favorite giant did you what? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... They can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. Are you sure? No. I actually don't know how to do this part. Okay. Together, then? That's it? Where's it going? Did that even work? I don't know. Here. But you're giving up already? They're your responsibility. It's not that. It's not. I just... I think they're better off with you. Loki, are you certain? Call me Atreus. Okay. We have to close the door. I've got it. Ugh. 
I really want to get out of here. I need your help. Remember in a moment. We just want to kill him. No, because we are going to stop her. I've avoided this for too long. She's not well. Uh, you know, you should be thanking me. What good does a soul do anybody? Just a vessel for pain. I damn near envy you. Okay, the cauldron. Without it, she'll have no use for the souls. I'll distract her. You free the wolf, then we break the cauldron. You sure? No. But we can't hide forever. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I told you never to come back here! That's right, look at me! There's so many things I've forgotten. And you refuse to be one of them! It doesn't have to be this way. If Ragnarok is coming, couldn't your other face it together? What does destiny ever do for anybody? Destiny to grow so young. It's your father's destiny to marry that. Oh, for Ah! You broad of prey! Loki! Loki! Get out of my house! Back door here! Follow me this way! That's right! Run! Up this way! There's a way back to our kitchen! Where are you? You sure you want to go back there? I told you, we have to. I can hear you. Over there. Got to destroy that cauldron. Can you swing across? Where'd you go? Hmm? You hiding? Stay with your face. Here in my humble home. No, you have a to bit of the huh, some champion. Yeah. You'll do well as Odin's stable boy. Shut up! <laughs> I'm sure you'll make such a fine pop. You'll forget no. all about your old no. one. Shut up! Spring gun, clown bull. Why? Now's your chance! Get to that cauldron! Why are you- No! Get away! I got an undeer! Uh, gotta get off the floor. You're painful giants! The both of you! There's a candle over there! Maybe she'll get stunned if I hit it! I'm ashamed we're even related, girl! You don't mean that! You won't destroy it! Get away from me! Oh! <laughs> 
you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! You just... Get out! No. Oh. Let's go. Oh. You think you've done something here, granddaughter? You are nothing and no one will ever remember you not even loki you'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story he'll be too busy mourning his father i see you again you wish you died with your parents You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for... She used to leave me food. What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but... Sometimes I'd wake up and... I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. Just baked just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? This way. And Gubauda. Earlier you said, the Udengard can be disorienting. But what is it? Hmm. You know Amir? The first of our people. He died a long time ago, right? Odin killed him. Yes. Odin destroyed everything that remained of him, save for one thing. His dreams. Odin couldn't touch those if he tried. And they are ours. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think? You care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. <laughs> Laufey? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I 
you know how it feels to lose a parent, to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father, you've still got time to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. What happens to you now? I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Stars here are different. No. You just are. I am going to see you again. <laughs> sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. Home. 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 Like that? Other home, other home, other home. Get back to Sindri's and figure out how to save father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angravota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? What were you thinking? 
I... I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. It's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Here. 
Violation imaginable. No! You do not want this. Call your mind. Control it. She was our friend. Maybe for the moment you are of more use to me alive. <clears throat> this home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. Now I must set things right. <clears throat> We'll take him. Oh, your majesty. A pleasure to see you again. <sighs> Roger. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what?
going nowhere without this. Where would you monk spouts even be without me? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beefwit brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Moosleheim shit pit out here. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't. Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Not. And you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Give me a boost. <clears throat> Don't go telling no one about that. Come on up! Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Shit! What? We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. here and cut my ass down. to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. You sold my sister to that 
prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Can it, Blobber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. We wish this camp kept secret. Understood? I will not compromise it. No, we wouldn't dare. Good. Hello, servant of Freya. Do not speak to him. Shouldn't you be moving along now, stranger? Perhaps he can help. There's no reason to be unfriendly. I can think of at least a dozen. Leave us. Tend to your bird. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, I think. His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos, as long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you fight? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Fuck me. Now that the distractions are out of the way, I have words, if you would hear them. Speak them. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. Hmm. 
I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. <gasps> Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family, my mess. I know Balder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes, I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope. What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> son's story. You should know my daughters. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns? the fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, Gro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Ah! 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 
my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Do not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opinbera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nepo! Richard! It belongs to Odin? No! It protects each of those troops wherever they are. The bastard was counting on it. What are you doing? Get his face! You have his attention now! Don't lose it! I need to get to those
slowly! You are free! It's been Vanaheim, yes. But there are more boots. She will start them with her life. I see it! My sigil can amplify your attack! Burn it off its perch! Use your blade! Burn it quickly! Come <laughs> on. 
done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. Self again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. 
Maybe that goes for Freya, too. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Ready? As I ever will be. Turn to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. You have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I, you, Ingrid. But I won't. Find myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right.
right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your boat. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed dogs. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, bro. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother. Here to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? You suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with a thing? Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make people. <sighs> what is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster <clears throat> than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as Sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Shall we go? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable. But you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? <laughs> no further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. Freya, something your brother said. 
The Aesir burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freyr was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freyr up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. Ah, but enough of that for now. <sighs> The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, I foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed. All the same. to you. A symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, they stopped too. From the ceremony, a symbol of reconciliation. We drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him. You come. A 
After all the battles I've fought, why does the other side of this door scare me most? The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight alone. Are you ready? There it is. My final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. A symbol of our union. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. I bond to my son, to the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword... no longer holds our legacy. But it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. 